Hi, in this lecture, let's start creating Android virtual mobile device, or that is an emulator. Uh, to create Android virtual device, open Android Studio, which we uh, installed in previous uh, lectures. So initially, it takes little time to load all the processes. So uh, we need to wait until all the processes have been started. So after loading all the processes, uh, go to Tools, select Android, and then click on ABD Manager. See uh, what is ABD Manager. So ABD stands for Android Virtual Device. So why we are using virtual device? So this is the place where you can automate. Uh, appm test cases so uh, we create a device virtually on our machine and uh, deploy the app which we need to test on that device okay here see uh, when you click on abd manager uh, for the first time you will not see any devices here so you, you will not see any devices here so uh, to create virtual device Simply click on create virtual device. So in this screen, uh, you need to select what type of screen you want. So you can select any screen uh, for virtual device. So let's select Nexus 6. So the screen size is uh, 5.96 inches. So we can select Nexus 6. And then click on next button. See here loading uh, images. So these are uh, different system images. So basically uh, different Android operating operating systems uh, which you want to install even in your virtual device. So you can download any of uh, operating systems uh, which you want to install in your virtual device. So I have already installed the two operating systems. So you can install any of operating systems. So it will take around uh, 15 to 20 minutes to download all the uh, libraries. So select uh, uh, O. So this is a stable one. Now what and uh, O are uh, stable operating systems. So you can select uh, O. It is 26 API level. So and then click on next button. Here uh, you can give any name to your uh, uh, virtual device. So here I am leaving as as it is. And uh, if you want to change any configuration, uh, you can uh, change it here. But I don't want to suggest you to change any of these uh, settings. Leave all the settings as it is. Okay, this is the RAM size for that virtual device heap memory internal storage is 800 uh, MB so uh, you don't need to change anything so you can uh, leave all the configurations as is and simply click on finish button so that's it see here a uh, virtual device is successfully created so uh, to launch the virtual device Simply click on display icon, launch this ABD in the emulator. So click this icon that will invoke virtual device in your system. So it is booting up. See, you can see here uh, it is booting up. So uh, for the first time, it might take two minutes uh, time to boot. See, you can see here emulator is uh, booting up. Uh, it is same as uh, what you can see in real Android mobile. So after uh, come after booting up, uh, we can install the app on the simulator and automate automate the tab. See here, Android is starting. Yeah, so it is successfully booted up. 
So now uh, we can install the app uh, which we, we want to test on this device. So see, it is same as real or physical device. That's it. Here uh, we have uh, launched this emulator by clicking on uh, this button, play button, right? Now we can also invoke the emulator from command prompt. So we need not open Android Studio every time as it consumes more uh, CPU memory. So close the emulator and Android Studio as well. And that's still as well. But for the first time, it is mandatory to open Android Studio to create a virtual device. So the, uh, here uh, there is no other option to create a virtual device. But once you create the emulator in Android Studio, so thereafter no need to open android studio as it takes uh, it occupies more cpu memory so uh, to open the uh, emulator from command prompt so uh, go to the directory where uh, emulator directory is present so first of all uh, open the command prompt and go to the directory where emulator folder is present generally uh, this emulator folder will be available at Android SDK folder. So see users, your username, app data, local, Android SDK. So inside this SDK folder, emulator folder will be available. So by default, app data folder will be invisible mode. So you need to change the setting like you need to select hidden items checkbox here to view the hidden items like app data folder okay open the app data folder local android and sdk and then open emulator so copy this path go to the command prompt change directory to the emulator folder now you need to provide the command like uh, emulator emulator space iphone avd and emulator name so what is the emulator name nexus 6 api 26 so this is the virtual device name and then hit enter emulator is successfully open so it is uh, booting up so for the first time it takes uh, around uh, two minutes so this is the another way to invoke the emulator so here we did not uh, uh, interact with the android studio at all so this is how uh, we can create and uh, invoke android virtual device Yeah, emulator, emulator is successfully uh, launched. So there are two ways to uh, invoke the virtual device. So that's all for this lecture. Thank you.